you guys i'll see you right in the museum all right guys so i did not plan for this part of the video at all at all like it really took me by surprise i, I found myself in this little ghetto <laughs> my guys look at where i am <laughs> let me show you where i am right now it's not far from the malian president's house right it is ultimately a push we have um the zoo the zoo is not far from here it's just right there the last time we went to the zoo the national park too is not far from here and the museum is not far from here so i just want to be showing you the view here i don't know if you can see i hope gopro is doing a good job so i want to show you the whole place all around that right there is the president's house but please don't go there Ooh. one thing about Mali me I've been telling you their roads are good like the roads are perfect just look at the road huh the road is so good the people are good and the roads are good I'm here with a friend so he wants to film me. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I've asked of the name, but he couldn't tell me the name. He said it is a bush. But I know that it's not far from the park, it's not far from the zoo, and it's also not far from the museum. The president's house, the Mr. Asimiguetas house too, is not far from here. Yeah, that's these are not my words, these are the words of the people here. So it's somewhere around here. People are not allowed to go there you know some of these things are security controlled so i'm not supposed to say yeah so that is it for now <laughs> right now i don't know where we are going so yeah i'll keep you guys posted but i'll be taking you to the museum as well so keep in touch <laughs> look at that whoa just look at the view. Anyway, I don't want my GoPro to go off, so I'm gonna be enjoying the, the, the good road all by myself. And I'll get back to you when we get to the museum. guys so all these points aside okay one thing that will be indelible on my mind about the marco is their architecture which is not western inspired at all it is purely and indigenously west african inspired which is of the sudano sahelian origin like look at this fence wall there's something unique about it and i feel it's so remarkable yeah anytime i'm in bamako Bamako that you can still see touched roofs <laughs> grass roofings oh my goodness look at that that's like what uh, the big uh, the big uh, is what don't know oh no reservoir oh god union african union yes uh. Ah, they are building. Okay. People go there. Huh? Huh? African Union. African Union. There's a building for African Union and office. Oh wow. It's looking so cool. Wow, it's so big. It's new. Oh wow. It's very nice. Wow. Can we enter? No. Okay. It is not finished quite. It's not finished. Building and office is not yet completed. It's looking so good. But they said I cannot enter. Wow. Wow. Information territory. Wow. 
your house. All right, so I was supposed to meet this guy who became my friend at the airport. So, yeah, I told him I wanted to visit the museum because the last time I went, the place was closed, and even I was finding it. Uh, difficult to find somebody to explain to me the things that were there so when I learned he could understand a little bit of English I I told him I wanted to go to the museum and he asked me to meet him on this day that I'm recording the museum I arrived there 20 minutes before he came so when he came I was thinking that we were going to the museum in my head but he was like, okay, hop onto the bike and let's go. And I'm like, where are we going? We are right here in the museum. And he was like, okay, you just as come. We'll be, got, we'll be back. So as I speak to you, guys, I do not know where we are wow. going. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Direction civil. Wow. It's good. Fast forward. We arrived in this house which was ultimately like uh, it was like a compound house kind of with there were three rooms in a row with one corridor linking all the rooms so everybody shared the same corridor when we got to this house it was like a ghetto so we met this lady who was sitting by one of the guys who picked me his colleague you know i met the guy before at the airport so i know that his colleague that i met in the house too so and they were like oh please have a seat and i'm like where should i have a seat and they pointed me to the room and it was the bed it was just a bed there was no seat i was like where where should i sit why should i sit on the bed like i cannot come and sit on your bed and they were like oh please forgive us this is a ghetto we are boys boys we don't have all these kind of things just sit feel free nothing will happen to you so yeah i sat there and we were chatting guys look where i am um, i left my house and i'm here uh -huh. <laughs> with all these good people uh -huh. alone uh -huh. I'm supposed to be scared, but I'm not. Uh -huh. That means they are good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They uh, say we should dance together. No, it is very, very good. My new friend. Uh -huh. so we are coming to dance together. He was showing me around. And he brought me to the girl. Later. They went out and bought me some food. Like they bought food and we all ate. And after eating the food and everything, Food. I had a chain. If you see my previous videos, you, see, you could see that I was wearing a chain with a map of Tumbuktu. So this guy was like, okay, he likes me, so he wanted that chain as a token of for him. Don't get it twisted. This is not the kind of love that you want to think about. This is just a friendly something. Friendly. I'm feeling so bad right now that I did not record this part it was so emotional like i could feel his emotions stuff it tells me a lot of things that oh malian girls are not like this my girls are that by you you look so unique and i'm like me don't judge a book by the cover you don't you barely know me so you can't just start saying things it might shock you what i can do do you get hey that's the competition <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should do this one. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's a bomb. It's on. What are you doing? Ah, ah. This is the good. Serious one. I went there. <laughs> that was it that was how i ended up in this ghetto that i never planned for i was not expecting this at all plan it just happened spontaneously maybe he might plan it but, but i was shocked i cannot tell you just watch the end and see what happened for yourself there were about four houses in this ghetto you saw them 
Okay, guys, so this is where we are. This is where I find myself today. I told you I was going to the museum, but I couldn't go. I came here with a friend. He was going to show me around, but look where we ended in a ghetto. Boys, boys, ghetto. So look at them. Look at them. Look at them. They are my friends, my new friends. My new friends. Okay. Oh, you are not my friends. Yes. Of course. Those are boys, boys, girls. Those are just boys. This is what they offered you. You are going? <laughs> I want to. <laughs> eh? I told you, that's for Mali. Problem. So. Never mind. There yeah, are military people who pick up my friends so that when I'm uh, recording and someone seizes my camera, I'll just call them. So let's go, let's go. Okay. So they said this place is called Kuluba. <laughs> Kuluba. Uh -huh. Kuluba. So this is where I found myself today. I was going to the museum and I ended up here because i came to meet my friend right so ah uh, let's just take it like that let me show you how kuluba looks it is very 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 far from matete bubu i will not even lie to you i spent about um an hour and a half before getting here because i took the sotrama the sotrama it, it takes a lot of time on the road before getting to wherever it's going so it spends so much time so this is how kuluba looks queen kai queen kaye what is that queen kaye -rie? Queen kaye -rie. Uh, so that thing there is like what do they sell building material yes anytime you think king kaye -rie is like building material so this is kuluba is like a new site this place they have a lot of bare land so you always find one new site or the other yes yeah, so you can see oh this is how kuluba looks um, not a lot of people so this side is what where are we going school school is a school yes oh okay Oh. Oh. So that is a school. You can see up there the hill. Like they have here yeah, this country they have a lot of looking. Okay, I don't know about this country. I know in Bamako. Bamako is surrounded by hills or should I say mountains? So you see a lot of houses on the mountain or the hill, right? Yeah. But you can't really see from here, I bet you. But the view is so good. So, school children. This is school. Primary school? Yes. Primary school. Okay. What's that? Tipa Langle? Can you speak English? Do you like video? I saw a video again. Can you check? Do you like video? No. We? 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 So your school, is it a primary school or secondary school? Primary school. Hey. Primary school? Primary school or secondary school? What place do you want to go to the school? Oh, okay. So which class are you? 
So when are you finishing? When are you finishing school? Like eight more is what? Yeah. Oh God, Jesus. You don't understand. No, I play. No, Francis. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Wow, guys, this is where we are stuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Nice meeting you all. Seven. Nice meeting you. Abiento. They don't teach them English. Me in Ghana, in Ghana primary school, they teach us French, English. Uh -huh. So when you are when you are small, you can speak French, you can speak English. Uh -huh. But when you grow, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So that is their school. Ooh, class nine. Class six and up to class nine. I think it's something like a GSS or something. That's what we have in Ghana, so that's what I'm aware of. Mm, so this is the end. It goes down, 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 down. Kuluba, but Kuluba, the township is nice. We pass Kuluba, it's where the museum is. Museum for Kuluba. So this is Kuluba, new site. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you Kuluba, the township, like the city of Kuluba. <laughs> Alright, so I just wanted to finish the video I started. That was why I came out. Okay, because I said I was going to the museum, I couldn't go again, so I have to let you guys know. Right? These are the people who help me sometimes when my camera, like when people are disturbing me in town they are into that kind of thing so i just call them and i get my stuff released so they are my friends and so i came to the ghetto today to see them Bosk. okay wow the new side you can see people building new buildings coming up there is money in mali people have money Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the mosque. Mm -hmm. Kuluba village, countryside house, you guys. Countryside, oh. countryside house. So, this is how Malian countryside looks like. I will be like to you. I mean they say countryside in my this is your house? Yes. Hey. Ah, so we pass here? Yeah? Ah. Ah yeah. Hey. Ah, these girls. They are still there. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright guys, I end the video here, huh? So here comes the end of our beautiful video. If you like it, leave your comments. Beautiful comments, so beautiful comments under my beautiful video. Beautiful comments. And uh, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So this is the locality of Kuluba countryside. Alright, bye. Abiyato.